the Badlands of South Dakota. In winter, this is one of America's most inhospitable places, with temperatures dropping to Arctic levels. The Lakota Sioux Indian tribe has lived here for generations. A lonely memorial reminds visitors of the day in 1890 when U.S. government cavalry massacred members of the tribe. And we're still resisting imperialism. It is a classic third world situation on Indian reservations. It's no different than the homelands of apartheid South Africa. Actor and activist Russell Means is the figurehead of Lakota resistance against the U.S. government. The United States of America is the role model for Palestine, the occupation of Palestine, the entire robbery of the natural resources of Palestine, for Iraq, which is another Indian reservation. He says the U.S. government has repeatedly broken its treaties. Russell Means may not represent everyone on the reservation, but many Lakota are listening to his call to break away from the U.S and become a sovereign nation. The day-to-day -day problems on the Pine Ridge Reservation are many. It has one of the highest unemployment and infant mortality rates in the country. The average household income is just around $4,000 per year, and alcoholism is rampant. There ain't nothing better for us to do because there ain't no jobs down there in Pine Ridge. There ain't nothing down there, man. This was all our land. All yeah, the United States was ours, and they all took it from us and left us right here where we're at. Left where us with these, at. with these how many bars are right here? One, two, two one, three, three, four bars. Four bars. This is a million-dollar business every year. Who's a leader, like a political leader who could represent your interest, do you think? Zero. Hmm? Zero. Why? Because they, they get all the money off of us. That's what they're riding, Learjets and everything. What should I vote for? <laughs> what should I vote for? Well, you don't count. Ben Good Buffalo is a Lakota spiritual leader. He prays for his people. He believes that they have lost their own culture because of too much interaction with Western life and politics. If two people are running for president, it's the people that make that decision by voting. That's the white man's way again. This is Ben's house. He's not sleeping here, though, during the winter, because these donated trailers where many Native Americans live are not only poorly insulated, they have holes all over the place and do not have electricity. Every winter, Ben moves to his van so he can withstand the cold. Many Native American reservations across the country have brought in money for infrastructure, schools and housing through mining and casinos. This has been tried here too, but has not worked as hoped. Originally, the Pine Ridge Casino was intended to bring tourism and customers from outside of the reservation, but actually today, 70% of the people who come here are Native American. Legendary warrior Chief Red Cloud fought with Crazy Horse against the U.S. military. His great-grandson, Chief Oliver Red Cloud, is a customer here. I have nothing else to do. The white man world, they have everything. Ball game, basketball game, they have everything. But Lakota people, we don't have nothing like that. There is a renaissance of traditional Lakota culture in Pine Ridge. And perhaps a culture of resistance is also growing. It is not a sentimental reminder of ancient ways. It is politically powerful and linked to their bond with the land. Hey! 
although the native vote in Pine Ridge is crucial because it can determine whether the state of South Dakota swings towards Democrat or Republican, the question is whether Lakotas are willing to take part in a political system that has not met their needs. Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Lincoln are remembered as great American leaders. But for many Lakota, the very granite these faces are carved from is stolen. They believe these are sacred hills, and these presidents have no place here. We laugh at that shrine of hypocrisy, or they call it the shrine of democracy. I think that's what they got. I forget. But they, uh, it's laughable. I think it's going to slide one day. 